Tonight, our COIN 6 investigation gets results, and now time is running out for campers outside of Portland City Hall with an eviction notice in effect. So where will the homeless go? We're getting answers tonight about what resources are really available for them. Welcome, everyone, to COIN 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. I'm Jeff Gianola. It's a big question at one time or another. We've all asked it. Why are there so many homeless people camping on the streets of downtown Portland? Well, tonight, Cor Harlan, live in northwest Portland, with some answers to that question. Cor? Well, Jeff, I talked to the Portland Rescue Mission earlier this evening, and they said that uh, even on a night like tonight, with such a beautiful sky out there, if any homeless person wanted to actually stay in the mission, there'd be about an 80% chance that they could find some floor space and a mat this evening to sleep indoors. Now, having said all of that, a lot of folks choose to live outside here, and they have a lot of good reasons for avoiding the shelters and staying on the street. And they say, hey, there's space at the homeless shelter to live. There are beds available. Why? And then they ask, why are you guys sleeping sleeping out here at night? <laughs> mm, that's a $64 million dollar question. Yeah. I mean. It's a question James Nelson and his girlfriend, Benita Wilson, say has a lot of answers. They do not use drugs or alcohol, so he says they cannot sleep inside as part of a recovery program. That's one reason they choose to sleep outside. They're also a couple, and they couldn't stay together in a shelter at night. And they have too much stuff and no place to store it in a shelter. Combine that, says James, with the fact that Portland is pretty tolerant of outdoor living, almost supportive of it, he says. There's a, a saying on the streets, you know, that if you starve in Portland, you're a total idiot. Because there's some place around town somewhere that's giving out a free hot meal. You just have to go and get it. Portland Mayor Charlie Hales put homeless campers at City Hall on notice Monday. They will soon be cleared from the sidewalk. We've had 113 calls for service. We've had people trying to come into this building being harassed and having obscenities shouted at them. We've had people having sex on the sidewalk. That's all not okay. James Nelson says the backlash against the City Hall campers may wind up making life more difficult for the rest of the homeless people like him living in the area. Under the Fremont Bridge, Northwest Portland, Ed Martin and his buddy prefer outdoor living, even in winter, he says, over sleeping at the mission. You have maybe 65 guys sleeping on a floor six inches apart with all kinds of medical problems, colds, coughs, flu. Ed says he has earned the respect of people in his neighborhood by being up and on foot, packed away at four in the morning. He has access to occasional indoor living, but chooses not to take advantage of it. Now, James Nelson, who sleeps over here on the East Bank Esplanade, says that uh, he is uh, uh, sort of thinks that a lot of these folks at City Hall go home during the night. They're not there the full evening. They're uh, sort of there for show and to make a political statement. He is simply living out here alone, not willing to stay in a shelter and perfectly comfortable sleeping here on the streets. Live here in Southeast Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Interesting report, Cor. Thank you.